If a freezer seems to be running all the time, or the appliance's defrost drain is frozen, a faulty thermistor could be the cause. To help determine this, you can use a multimeter to measure changes in resistance as the temperature changes around the thermistor. To conduct the test, you will need to isolate or remove the thermistor from the appliance. Depending on the freezer model, the thermistor may be attached to the side wall, behind an evaporator access panel, or secured to the evaporator itself. Be sure to unplug the appliance's power cord before beginning any disassembly to reach the thermistor. Once the thermistor has been isolated or removed, inspect the component for a designated ohm rating. Then rotate the multimeter's range selection dial to the corresponding setting for ohms of resistance. If the thermistor's ohm rating is unavailable, start at the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then rotate the dial to higher settings as needed to get a reading. Now contact the black meter lead to a thermistor wire or connector terminal and the red lead to the other wire or terminal. At room temperature, the meter display should indicate close to the ohms of resistance identified on the thermistor or on the freezer's tech sheet. If the meter display shows no ohms of resistance, you'll know the component has failed and a new one will need to be installed. You should also confirm that the ohms of resistance can change as the temperature changes. Use a hair dryer to heat up the thermistor and observe whether the ohms of resistance increase or decrease. If the resistance changes, the thermistor should be functional. However, if there is no change in resistance, the thermistor is likely defective and should be replaced.